Hey guys, what's going on? Accurus here, welcome to 10 Miles to Safety. Oh my gosh, what a great game, and it isn't very expensive at all. It's $12.99 on Steam, I highly recommend it. You can play multiplayer, co-op, uh, single player, and I've been playing single player and been loving it. It reminds me a lot of Gauntlet, Project Zomboid, Seven Days to Die, and even a little bit like The Flame and the Flood. Uh, so enough talk, let's get into this. And here we are at our character selection screen. We've got the brawler, has ma more health and melee damages, deal more damage. We've got the engineer who can build better, and they're stronger. The crafter, she's better at being crafty. And the looter, he's better at finding stuff, um, finds more materials, and also draws less attention as he uh, loots. And we got the sharpshooter, which is who I'm going to go with, because it seems to me like you do more shooting than anything else in this game. And uh, also kind of reminds me of me. I'm I like, to, I like to shoot, so. Increased headshot chance with all weapons, sniper rifles deal more damage. And we're going to leave the tutorial on. I've played this for about an hour and a half or so. And, uh, Ackman, that'll be who we are. But I'll leave that on so you guys understand what we can and can't do. Sort of our capabilities. But I'll skim through this pretty quick. So we get into the action right away. Also, you can partner up with NPCs. So if you help somebody out, there's a chance that, you know, they can join your team. Where am I? Yeah, you're in a hospital. All right, so here we go. We're going to look around, move up, down, left, right, run with the shift bar, vault with, oh, <laughs> vault with the space bar. Radio, this is an emergency broadcast. Can anyone hear us? There has been an outbreak of an unknown pathogen. Do not approach anyone showing signs of infection. They are extremely dangerous. Defend yourself using any way you can. Fight if you have to, kill if you have to. Okay, we will. If it comes to that, which it just did. So this is a shambler. Uh, this is who we see most of the time during the day. And they're, they're not too bad, but they do team up on you. So they can be a little dangerous in that, in that respect. And we get ourselves uh, ranged weapons. As you can see, there's that max range line. It's uh, indicated by sort of like a um, an arc. A little red arc and then uh, crosshair is where we're actually aiming the mouse and the aiming line is where the bullet will be traveling where our muzzle is all right let's go ahead and switch over to the pistol here reload and let's uh get a couple shots off here one more okay there you go radio says is anyone still listening to this do not get caught outside after dark there's a second stage to the infection. It's like they're not even human anymore. Barricades can hold them off for a while. All right, so we have the day-night cycle. As you can see there, as the day progresses, it goes from yellow to sort of a pink color. And then the sunset is the orange area, and the nighttime is the blue. And you better be sort of uh, barricaded in at nighttime because uh, there's a whole other type of beast that comes out then. And that's the one little bug with the, uh, with, the, with the game right now. It is early access, but whenever you click left mouse button to end a dialogue or a menu or something like that, it tends to fire off a shot. Like it just did. So, all right. So barricades hold off the infected while they're while still letting you shoot over top of them. Uh, they do deteriorate as they get damaged, but you can tear them down and build them back up relatively quickly. So it's not too big of a deal. All right. So let's go into our build menu. We're going to start building here. This barricade, then this barricade. There we go. We're going to go ahead and loot over here, this filing cabinet, grab all that stuff, spirits, rags, and all that junk. We're going to craft up bandages and a Molotov cocktail. There we go. And that'll do that in the background. We're going to go ahead and reload that one round that we accidentally shut off there. Seem to have a recently been shooting off rounds accidentally. Seems like that time it wasn't my fault. All right. So we got ourselves uh, some bandages. We're going to go ahead and heal up. And we're going to go ahead and throw this Molotov cocktail right back there. And that's going to hurt her. Now, see, if I think if we go here, you can see the bar barricade is actually deteriorating. So, it's not good. We can, we can always dismantle this. Build it back up again. There we go. Now it's full health bar. Okay. So, let's go over here. Loot this. Now, when we loot an orange dot loot container, it's going to have, like, ammo... Uh, firearms and armor inside however it does make a lot of noise when you're looting it so sometimes it'll draw the attention of nearby zombies or sometimes zombies will pop up out of the floor so we're gonna grab all this grab that shotgun get that shotgun loaded up I feel so sorry for this lady 
Here comes the hunter, second stage of the infection. So this is the nighttime infected. Here we go. Is she still alive? No, she's dead. One shot on him. Come on, buddy. Inside my effective range. How about you? Just outside. My pistol actually has a little bit more range, but it's not nearly as punchy. So, kind of like the shotgun. All right, we're going to destroy all these barricades, get the wood back for them. Wonderful. And here we go. Find the main exit. I don't think we can survive another night. There's an army base on the other side of the city. If anyone's safe, if anywhere's safe, then it's there. It's about 10 miles from here, but we're going to try. We're signing off. Good luck. Stay alive. So here we go. Here's the compass down in the bottom right. It shows the distance to uh, safety, and it shows current outbreak level. The higher the number, the tougher the zombies are. And as we move forward towards the safe zone, that number will keep increasing. It also shows the direction to the safety, so to the safety zone. All right, so let's get going, guys. And we're on our own now. Now, there's pretty cool. There's just about as many good guys as there is bad guys in this game. So you'll see a lot of NPCs out here fighting these zombies. Right now, it's just all zombies. There's a police officer down here. She's running around trying to cap off some zombies. You hear some gunshots in the background. It brings a nice, good feel of... Yeah, there's a person who's freaking out. Uh, another guy running. Supply drop. All right, we're going to do, give it a shot. This is going to be a little bit tough because we don't have a whole lot of uh, materials at this point, but we're going to give it a shot. So we need to create ourselves a safe zone here. So we need to prepare our defenses. Son of a... All right, let me get a chance to make my defenses here. All right, there's one. There we go. We got a little bit of time to create some defenses. Basically, I just want to try to get it walled in best I can. Shouldn't be a big deal. Continue building our walls. Here they come. I think we got it. Yeah, we got ourselves a nice defense. Defensive perimeter set up. Awesome. That's great. Let's go make sure we're reloaded. I'm gonna go shotgun on this one, I think. Leave that one alone. Come on. We will have plenty of ammo, so I'm not too worried about the ammo situation. This isn't the long dark. Ammo ain't scarce. Right there, shotgun rounds they just dropped. I just can't get outside the wall to get them. And we're just basically running out the clock here. Trying to keep them off this box as long as possible. Made it through, huh? I'm out of materials? Okay. We're almost there. We'll just have to finish off the last remaining ones. There we go. That's the kill message. They're not going to send any more. We just have to finish off the ones that are still alive here. We go. I think we got them. Oh, no, we got one over here. Hey, that bus is going to blow up big. <laughs> if they if to let him keep going. All right. So we did get that. All right. So we got a superior baseball bat, basic like a helmet, superior Bernetta, and some more ammo. So we are maxed out on our 
Let me try this again here. No, we're maxed out on malt elves. Okay. So I'm gonna grab all this wood here. Grab all this ammo that they happen to drop. We're maxed out on 9mm ammo now at this point. Uh, not shotgun ammo though. So we'll get some more here. We can max out at 100 on the shotgun, 250 on 9mm. Alright, so we're good. Let me double check, make sure we got the right superior, basic, superior. Okay. And we got ourselves on it. Now we can keep our eyes open for a vest. That would be wonderful. I tend not to stop in every house along the way uh, to start here. I find that just running and hitting the cars, the trunks of these cars, uh, tends to get me what I need. So we're still pretty early in the day. So that poor lady's about to die. And you see a little blue dot on the trunk of a car, that means it's lootable. And a lot of times you have to walk up closer to it to actually see that it's lootable. So now we're in the outbreak zone two, so the zombies are a little bit tougher now. Ah, uh, there's one that's lootable. Let the officer, man, uh, you know what? Let's take him out. There we go. Grab all that. Grab the bandages. I'm gonna go ahead and craft, craft some bandages on the run. Oh, I only have enough for one. Okay. So, so be it. We'll craft one bandage. There we go. We got one crafted. The police officer's car. The baseball bat's pretty nice. Now that we got the superior one. See how they're breaking in uh, through the ground there? Coming up here. I just hit the police car. That caused it to the alarm to go off. Look at that police pistol extended mag. Throw that on there. Alright, let's get away from the car because they're about to blow it up. Alright, so now we have uh, 13 rounds rather than 10 for our pistol. Not much, but it'll it'll help. Every little bit helps. Got some shotgun and some pistol rounds there. Starting to get close to nightfall. I'm gonna start looking for a nice two-story house to get into. You'll see why I like the two stories here in a minute soon. This is a two-story. This looks like yeah, it's a two-story. We're going inside this house here. Whoa! Hey, get away from me! All right, we're gonna go up here and. Uh, I don't know how he does that. Comes out of the ground from <laughs> from the ceiling of the other room, I guess. Uh, what was in here? I didn't even notice. Small backpack and a pistol silencer. We'll take that. Add that pistol silencer there. We got the backpack on. 30% more carry capacity. So I think we'll probably hole up in this room here. Let's bust into this one. Grab some wood. We can also bust up furniture to get wood. Kill that one. Basic light armor. Extended mag again. Really didn't need a second one, but here we are. Alright, so it's evening. We're gonna start getting ourselves ready here for the for the incoming wave of zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna dismantle this door so I can shoot through here real quick. Take this guy out. Nice and quiet like. Uh, don't worry about those down there. Those are downstairs. So, we're okay. So really, I only have to worry about one spot for these hunters to come through, and that's through those barricades. And we're doing pretty good with our ammo. Spirit baseball bat. I already have both of those. I don't know why it keeps picking up the uh, extended mag, but it is. So we're going to get some bandages from there. All right, so there we go. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just put another barricade here and another one here. We should be good. Oh, that one didn't take. I let go just a fraction too early. Some explosives. I haven't ever used explosives yet, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and get our shotgun fully loaded. Here comes one of the hunters. Let's get our pistol fully loaded. You can see. Yeah, I got the barricade up, so, okay. The barricaded door. will be up here shortly. 
Uh oh, feel bad for those police officers. He's busting through the door right now. It'll take him a minute. <laughs> two, two rounds fired and I'm going to end up with a net gain in ammo there because he dropped some nice ammo for us. So we're just going to leave it like that. Wait for the next monster to show up here, the next hunter. Get inside our effective range. And this is the part that reminds me of uh, Seven Days to Die, right? Little Project Zomboy, Seven Days to Die groove to it here. You can't even run down the street here. It keeps you, uh, like there's a circle of darkness that surrounds this property. So you really have to just hole up somewhere. And then uh, when night falls, that's it. You're kind of stuck in that one area. Looks like we got four of them coming. Okay, we can handle that, no problem. Sounds like they're taking the path of most resistance. I see five now. We'll see. When daylight hits, um, if they haven't made it up here, they'll all just freak out and run away. But uh, I don't know if they're going to... There we go, finally. We'll made it in. That one jumped down. He jumped downstairs. <laughs> he jumped over the banister and just... Now he's down there destroying the downstairs. He's going to freak out here. The day breaks, so he's going to run away. There he goes. There he goes. He's running away. If he doesn't run away fast enough, he will die out there. So let's go and bust these up. Get some wood back here. Bust that up. Get some wood from there. Get ourselves healed up a little bit. All right. Reload this shotgun before we head out. And let's go. We can still do a little bit of Exploring here real quick before we leave. See if we get something lucky. Another pistol silencer. I think we've already got that. Yes. Maxed out. So I don't we don't need any of that. The pistol silencer does not uh, deteriorate. Take all that shotgun ammo. We were maxed out. I th no, we weren't. We were at like 63, weren't we? We're somewhere around there. some of that wood. Wood is good. All right, let's go in here. Take those bandages. Oops. No, I'll just, yeah, I do want to break these. That's some good wood right there. Okay, we're maxed out on wood. We're dropping it now at our feet, so no need to keep going like that. Let's grab some of this ammo. Up to 75 rounds of shotgun ammo. Not bad. This looks like it will be an event, but apparently not. Is that... Kind of looks like he's dressed up as Spider-Man. I don't know what he is. He is dressed up like something, though. Alright, let's keep running. Let's see how far we can make it here in the first 30. Rescue the survivor? Alright. We got some survivors here. One survivor. Please help me. If you could, just hold them off until I free myself. I'll be in your debt forever. All right, let's do it. Let's let them get all together here before we take the shot. Seems like a more efficient way of shooting. Try to kite them all in one line. Here we go. Come on, guys, this way. So the goal is to keep them off the car. They will start banging on that car and try to get it to explode. We don't want that. That's bad for the survivor that we're trying to help.
trying to get that... Before I fire, I'm trying to get the, uh... Effectiveness arc past the last one. All in line. That's the goal. Get them all lined up here. Hey guys, over here. Oh, we got... Okay, this is the last group of them. We have a police officer helping us here. Yeah, she's gonna take him out for us. Let's let her do the honors. Talk to the survivor. I can't thank you enough. Without you, I'd be dead or worse. You know, we stand a better chance if we stick together. Alright, Steve. See? Negligence is charged. He's bringing a shotgun to the battle. Superior Mosh -bur Borg. Mosh Borg. Alright, let's do it, Steve. Let's see what you got. How you doing, buddy? Uh, these are all pistol rounds. Of course. Okay, let's go. I found that the uh, NPCs ain't the brightest. They tend to, like, not follow you uh, into the area that you have barricaded for the night. And that's normally when they die. Protect the medics. Oh my gosh. More of this? I don't even... Okay. So these medics are trying to heal these people. At least we got Steve helping us. Throw out the Molotov there. Oh, Steve's on fire. Somebody's on fire. I think it's Steve. Time to heal up. I like how I can heal up and fight at the same time. Damn, Steve, stop hitting me. You're trying to blow up these medics. Yep, these are going to blow up here in a second. Almost done. Alright. I think we got him. The medic was killed. Failed? Oh, that sucks. We were right there. Oh, that was so close. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, there will be others. Time to go. Alright, we're gonna keep our eyes open for a... We're gonna keep our eyes open for a nice two-story house here. Yours is a two story. That looks like a two story. We'll take it. Alright, let's head on in here. I'm dropping wood on the floor. Thanks, Steve. Superior Mossberg. Oh, yeah, well, do I have that? Hold on, stand by. Switch over to my shotgun. Basic. Nope. Need that. We got our bait backpack on? We do. Some light armor and a helmet. Nice. Okay. Let's head inside. Make ourselves at home. Some more bandages. Jeez, Steve. Watch your background. Night is coming. Up to 24 bandages. I don't know how many bandages we can max out at. I forget. Okay, so this is not a two-story house, but that's okay. We can make it work. Steve, we're staying in this room right here. 
Okay, buddy. We're staying in this room. We're going to build a barricade right here and a barricade right here. Then we'll build a barricade here. There. Try again. There we go. And there. Don't freak out, buddy. Okay, should be good. Should be good. Okay, we're maxed out on ammo almost. No, don't do that. Okay. See which way they want to come in. Okay, Steve's doing better than the last guy I had. Nice. Nice work, Steve. Steve's doing alright so far. Gonna come in, buddy. That zombie gave up on us. Like, whatever. It ain't over. It ain't over. Oh, he's killing the zombie. Look at this. We got him. Steve, do not do that. You stay inside. It scares me when he starts wanting to jump over barricades. Makes me a little nervous. Back, buddy. Stay inside. She wouldn't point that rifle right at my head. Seems like he has to. All right, I think we made it. I don't see any more. Yeah, good stuff. We made it to daybreak. All right, guys, so we made it 9.5 miles. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed 10 Miles to Safety. Y'all take care.